Now any wheel with bladed spokes like this, when the bladed spokes actually touch each other and they overlap, they will inevitably start creaking at some point in the life of the wheel, okay? It's inevitable, sorry guys. And here's a little demonstration of that. Let's see if there's any creaks left in this one right here. You can hear those creak, hear that? Every time you your this wheel comes around, and don't forget guys, when you're going down the road, what's happening in the wheel dynamically? The hub is actually hanging in space, hanging off of the spokes. So the spokes down here are, are losing tension as these are tensioned. So as the wheel's coming around, these are, as they're coming around, they're coming into tension, 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 full tension, and then the tension starts bleeding off until there's very little tension down here, right? Because when you're sitting on this bike, you're actually loading the hubs downward, right? Which is pulling tension on these spokes at the top because your body weight is sitting on them. Think about it. So what's happening is every time this thing comes around, it's creaking. It's creaking. See that right there? And here's where, here's where it's creaking right there. Get in there. See that? When I reveal that, see where that, see where that paint is gone? Right there, that coating? That's, a, that's, that's because these parts are rubbing together and making that noise. Well, well that's an interesting diagnosis. What do I do about it? Uh, go buy a new set of wheels. This is not anything wrong with Mercury. There's, this is any wheel with bladed spokes like this. I don't care if they're MVs, it doesn't matter. They will, Sapum spokes, blah, blah, blah spokes. It, guys, it's physics, it doesn't matter. So what do you look for when you're looking at a pair of wheels to buy? Make sure none of the spokes are touching each other unless they're round, okay? Because the round ones, when, they're, when they do that cross like that, three cross, whatever it is, they don't have this problem. It's only the bladed spokes because of the surface area contact. It's the nature of the beast. Um, how do you fix it really? Uh, you replace the spokes. I've seen all kinds of stuff. I've done all kinds of stuff in a shop. I've actually put little pieces of like Teflon tape in between the spokes and, and cut it so you can barely see it. And I've put grease in between there. All those things solve it for a short amount of time and then it eventually comes back. The, the real solution is to replace the spokes that are creaking to kind of start fresh and new again and get another couple thousand miles out of them until they start creaking again.